The questers are here. It's gone. It's the finished. Questers, it's, it's okay. Finished. It's, 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 not, it's, it's not. What, what, it's not. What, what, it's not. It's Questers are here. Hey. Gosh, just as well. We slept in our hoodies. Yeah. Right? So we're ready to go. Uh, morning. Oh, morning. <sighs> where's, the, where's the tea? Where's the tea and coffee? <sighs> What are we doing today? What day is it? No idea. Thursday! Thursday! Thursday. Oh. oh, Thursday. Thursday. Work up, It's gonna be a good day. Good day. It's gonna be a good day. Good day. Oh.
story about my friend King Dave Wouldn't let the giant stand in his way He said, hand me my sling cause he's not that tall My God is bigger and I'll watch him fall My God's the king of the giants My God's the king of the lions My God's the king of the creatures of the deep My God's the king of me Have you heard the one about this guy called Dan? He was a mighty holy praying man Throw him to the den of the scary beast But God saved our hero from the lion's teeth My God's the king of the giants My God's the king of the lions My God's the king of the creatures of the deep My God's the king of me Lost and afraid, all alone in the dark You're with me, oh, you're with me My God's the king of the giants My God's the king of the lions My God's the king of the creatures of the deep My God's the king of me My God's the king of the giants My God's the king of the lions My God's the king of the creatures of the deep The king, king of me. Of me. Ow. 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 Where's the lion? Ready! Okay. Yes, I'm ready. We're all ready. We didn't sleep in at all. No. 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 I don't think anybody noticed. No, I don't no. think so. No. no. Don't mention noticed. it. No. Yeah. No. So, story so far? Well, God made the world. So it was good. So it was good. It, uh, humans kind of messed it up a bit. Uh, God uh, used Abraham as part of his big plan to uh, show the world the best way to live. Mm -hmm. Then he had a son called Isaac, he had a son called Jacob. Then he had um, a son called Joseph, Joseph got Just stuck in a big Joseph. hole. Yeah. Um, Didn't seem like the plan was going to work because no, he's in a hole. He's in a hole. Uh, uh, Joseph's brothers were jealous, um, but God used um, all that stuff oh, in Egypt that. and being in prison and everything like that. He reconciled with his brothers and forgave them, and so there's all of that, that, that kind of stuff. And so, sticking with the Israelites. Sticking with the Israelites. The Israelites are in Egypt. Okay. And they stay in Egypt for ages, and then there's a really bad pharaoh that comes, it comes along that doesn't like the Israelites, and so that's not a good situation for them. And a guy called Moses becomes their leader, leads them out of Egypt, wow. through the wilderness, through the Red Sea. There's an amazing story that we haven't told you anything about, because that was in the first mega quest. Two seconds. You keep going. That was in the first mega quest. Then... Moses is the leader of the Israelites, and then he passes on that leadership to a guy called Joshua. And Joshua is to be strong and courageous. And we are going to learn and hear the story of Joshua just now. Good morning, boys and girls. And I hope you're all enjoying your time at MegaQuest. Our story today is called Joshua Wins the Day. Open up! Open up! There are spies in your house. Bring them out! The king's men shouted and banged at the door of Rabhab's house in the city of Jericho. Joshua had sent two spies across the river, the River Jordan, and Rahab had hidden them. Rahab didn't want the king's men to find the spies, so she sent them to look somewhere else. If you're quick, you may catch them, she said, as the soldiers hurried off. When the king's men had gone, Rahab said to the spies, God will give you this city. I know it. When that happens, promise you'll be kind to my family, as I have been kind to you. We promise, they said. 
Joshua was the leader of God's people now. It was time to go into the promised land. God was going with them to help them. Tomorrow we cross the river, the River Jordan, Joshua said. The Jordan River was deep and wide, but Joshua trusted God. And tomorrow we will get the end of the story and find out what happened. Stories of the Bible Joshua Leads This is Joshua. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses through the wilderness. Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. And as Moses taught the people about God's law. I see. Oh, listen up. One day, Moses was talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. Yeah. I'll see here, all you. When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Hold on. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Well, see? Then Moses died. Uh... To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourned. The people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. There he is. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. Ah. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. Ah. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Okay, here we are. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. Get out there. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Ah. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. See here, this is what we're gonna do, okay? <gasps> and so, Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded. Hey Questers, new guy today, Joshua. He had a really big job to do in part of God's big plan for the world. God's people had been waiting to get into a promised land for a long time. I think Ali was saying earlier that a new Pharaoh had come in Egypt after Joseph, long time after Joseph, after they'd kind of forgot about Joseph. And he didn't like God's people, the Israelites. He made them slaves. But God saved them out of that with a guy called Moses. After Moses came Joshua. And that was our story, the start of our story today. Joshua had a pretty big job. But do you remember what God said to him? To be strong and courageous, to not be discouraged because he was going to be with them wherever he goes. So he knew he could trust God. We've been thinking this week about how these stories relate to Jesus and what he did. Remember yesterday, I was saying after the cross and after he rose again and after he'd spoken to all of his friends, that Jesus, that they watched, that his friends watched Jesus go up to heaven. But we've been singing God beside and we've been talking about God being with Joseph, no matter what he was going through. And that that's a promise for us today. So how does that work? Well, remember I was saying that, his, that Jesus' friends had seen him going up into heaven. He promised them that he would send his spirit, his Holy Spirit, we sometimes call him. It's kind of like a piece of God. A pretty mysterious piece of God. And it's true, he did. It's a whole other story later in the Bible of how God's spirit came like a big wind. And it helped people to be, to be strong and be bold and courageous. But through God's spirit, that's how he can be with us, with you and me, with all our questers here even now today. 
That's the amazing thing about God. You think, how can that be? And then you think, because God's amazing and he can do it. So remember today that God loves you and that he wants to hear from you. Hi guys, welcome to your second fitness session. I hope you guys aren't feeling too sore after last time. You guys ready for another little turn of this? Right, okay, remember to get someone to help out and get involved, maybe a granny or an uncle or your mum and dad or an older brother and sister. It's always fun working out with other people. Right, let's get ready to warm up. Okay, so we're gonna start with some jogs today. Nice and easy. And then do some runs, go a bit quicker. Now I'd like you to do some skips. And then some jumps. Go around the circle if you like. And then we'll do some hops. On one foot, don't fall over. Whoa! Other one! Whoa! Okay, what about hopscotch? Two foot, one, two, one, two, one. Okay. So I think you guys are warmed up and ready to go. Now we're going to do a strength training today. Now, you can use lots of heavy things to lift, but I didn't have any heavy things, except something I really like to eat a lot, which also keeps me healthy. Bananas. So we're going to do some weights with bananas, and I'll put them here, but our first exercise is going to be hop. So we're going to hop on one foot, then we're going to hop on the other foot too much in the wind. And then the other one. Other one. Okay. Now we're gonna do some banana bicep curls. Ready? Go. Huh. Huh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Work those muscles. Do doubles if you like. Oh, they're so heavy. Okay. Now we're gonna mix it. Now we're gonna do hops and bleh, bicep curls. Whoa. This is getting crazy, guys. Oh, so tiring. Right, now we're gonna move on. We're gonna do some jumps. Bananas down. Let's get those jumps on the go. Start with small ones. Let's see if you can do a little bigger ones. How high can you go? Okay, now we're gonna do a second banana exercise. I love this one. It's called the shoulder press. So, lift those bad boys above your shoulders and we're gonna push both at the same time like that. So this is the banana shoulder press. Eh. Thousand one, thousand and two. That's it. We go a bit quicker. I'm trying my best. Now let's see if we can do jumps and shoulder press at the same time. Awesome! It's a deep burn! It's a deep banana burn. Okay, you must be pretty exhausted, but we're not done yet. We're gonna do some skipping so on the spot. Or you can skip around the room if you like. Or your garden. Okay, now we're gonna do some banana shoulder raises. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do front raises like that. Or you could do side raises like that. Or you could do front raises and then side raises. You guys get to choose. I like this one. This is really good for your shoulder muscles. Really develops your hug strength. And we all need to give good hugs, don't we? So now we're going to do shoulder raises and skips at the same time. Not so easy, guys. Oh, wow, I'm absolutely exhausted. I think it's time for some stretches. So, we're gonna stretch up like we did last time. Top of the sky, lean to one side. And the other side. Awesome stuff. Now we're gonna do a shoulder stretch. So you're gonna bring your elbow up and you're gonna hold it. And then the other side, brilliant. Now we're going to do a tricep stretch, that way, and then the other way, and then we're going to do a chest stretch, like that. Oh, lovely. And then a back one. Again, pretend you're giving someone a big hug. 
Well guys, don't know about you, but after that banana workout, I'm absolutely exhausted. I think I need some energy. See you next time. Hello questers, and welcome to today's daily verse. Now, I'm going to be teaching you quite a few signs to go along with today's verse. So try having a go with them as I'm saying them, and then we can use them together with the verse at the end. Okay, so the word we're going to start off with is strong. So show me your muscles. I know you're all really strong out there, so we're going to be strong. We're also going to be courageous, which means we're going to be brave like Superman. That's why we've got our hands out and our fists like Superman, so we're going to be courageous. We are not, shaking your head, not going to be afraid. It's almost like you're scared, your, your hands are shaking. We're not going to be discouraged and sometimes we can be maybe a bit worried about things and think oh, I can't do that that's why I'm discouraged so we're going to have our hand almost up to the top here and then move it down towards our tummies we're going to talk about the Lord so I have two L's and point them up to the ceiling we're going to talk about God so just one hand pointing up to the ceiling with so almost wiggle your fingers out to the side and as you move them together, pull them in together. We're going to be with you. So just point to the person in front of you. Could be the person inside you. Could be the person behind you. See who's rounding about. Wherever. So have your hands out. Sort of together. Move them out to the side. And turn them into little circles. And we're going to say go. So we're just going to flick something away. Because we're going somewhere. Okay, so now that we've got the signs, let's try putting the verse together. So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. And we can find this verse in Joshua chapter 1. Verse 9. So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. And we can find this verse in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Great job today, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Hello, Questers. We hope you're fine today. It's Karen and Harriet here with your school craft. Okay, so what we have here is a scroll with today's memory verse on it. So today's memory verse is be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So we are going to make this scroll today. So in your craft kit, you will find a piece of brown paper, like so. You'll have some string. I've got a piece of wool, but you'll have some string in your kit. A dark coloured felt pen and some sticky tape. Okay, so job number one is to take your piece of brown paper and either by yourself or get an adult to help you, you need to write the memory verse on to the piece of paper. Okay, so I think you could just put this down for me, thank you. Okay, so that's the first job. Let's write the memory verse onto the scroll. Okay, questers. So here we have our memory verse on our piece of brown paper. Now, scrolls are really, really old. So to make this look like it's really, really old, what we need to do is we need to scrumple it up into a ball. Not a really, really, really tight ball, but just enough to make it look all crumply and old. Okay. So then you need to unfurl it. There we go. So now we have a slightly older looking piece of paper. 
okay and what you need to do is you need to take that colouring pen that you use to write your memory verse and what we need to do is just roll it a little bit at the top to make the wee curls okay to make the wee curls that we've got in the scroll okay so you just roll it a few times you can roll it as tight or as loose as you like okay just like so and then pull your pen out and you've got a little curl and then do the same at the bottom wrap it around the pen again there we go like so okay and there we have the beginnings of our scroll so then what you need to do is take the piece of string that is in your kit now make sure it's at the top okay so the very top of your scroll which is where the verse starts make sure you stick this on here so just under the first curl okay how it's showing you there well done Harriet. so just under the first curl you take a little piece of your sticky tape and just stick your string down and you can breathe curl over the string okay so the last job is then to tie a wee knot at the top of your string so that you can then hang this somewhere okay like so and there we have our memory verse scroll okay perfect there we go thanks for watching questers have a good day bye friends oh, well for for you new questers uh, i used to be a bad guy um but now now i'm a good guy which is which would be brilliant but i used to used to call you worms but now i call you warm friends it's been quite the transformation so it's day four of training oh, it's not been going well it's it's been can you hear that it's been tough. It's been really tough. It's been tough. I, it's, I mean, it started off okay. Um, I thought it would be easy, and it was all excitement. I could picture the, the excitement of me scaling Mount, Mount my, my trainers on back to front. Um, but, but it's been hard. Um, well, uh, I mean, the, the, the food's been really difficult. Well, actually, the food's been quite nice. You know, the, the healthy eating is okay. But I, I miss my fudge, fudge donuts. Oh, fudge donut. Um, oh, oh. The training is grueling and relentless. It just goes on and on and on and then on some more. I mean, uh, I mean, how how can you do a thousand push-ups? I mean, who can even count to a thousand? I can't even count to a thousand. Can you count? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I mean, a hundred. I mean, it's pretty impressive, but it's but it's a lot of it's a lot of hard work. But can, oh, there's a there's a call coming in. Excuse me, excuse me. There's a call coming. Oh, oh, Thanks, Auntie. That's very encouraging. You're welcome. No, no, not really. I mean, you have to, uh, oh, never mind. So how is the training going? It's really hard, Auntie, really hard. I was just saying that to our warm friends. Oh, hello, warm friends. I forgot you were here. Hello, Hi. warm friends. Hi. Hello. Over here, Auntie. Hello, Over here. It's, it's, it's so it's about. I'm spiralling, spiral Auntie. I'm spiralling. Of course, my darling nephew. Now, what seems to be the problem? I'm, I'm doubting myself, Auntie. As the training is hard. Mount my flingo dingo is bigger than I thought, and 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 I thought I I mean I know I can do it. Maybe I'm just too small. Maybe I'm too weak. I'm just alone and tired. And maybe I'll give up and go and get some fudge donuts. Oh. A bath full of fudge donuts. Oh, log off. Mm. I've been reading the stories the programmer gave us. Do you remember the programmer? It's amazing what you find time for in lockdown. And this reminds me of something that God says over and over. 
you, Logo, are not alone. You might feel small and weak and alone, and people might look at you and think your arms are weedy and your hair is a disaster and your legs are it, puny and your beard hey, is trimming. This is supposed to be encouraging. My point is that you might feel alone and small and tired, but you're not. Tired maybe, but you're not alone. We're all here for a start, so you're part of something bigger than just you. And God is with you all the time. He said, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So you see, you're not in it yourself. You've got all of us and the God of the universe with you. Huh. I hadn't really thought of it like that. Well, maybe I can give it another go. Yes, just remember what I've taught you and be strong and courageous. Remember, we're all cheering you on, aren't we, worm friends? Log off! Log off! Log off! Well, come on then, cheer with me! Log off! Log off! Log off! Thanks, worm friends! Log off! Oh, oh yeah, thanks. That's a bit more encouraging than all the booing from last year. OK, I'll give this training course one more go. boys and girls I hope you're doing good today. Now we're looking at the story of how God said to Joshua to be strong and to be brave and courageous because he would be with him. Right, do you think he is strong? I'm very strong. Look at Do you think muscles. he's strong? Oh no you are not. Oh, yes, I am. Hold on muscles. a minute. Come here Ian. Come here Ian. Come here. Goodness! What a nerf is that? He's cheating. Here. He's got two Satsumas. <sighs> right. We're going to check how strong he is. Now, we've got a broom handle, and you'll be able to find that at home. Something at home that you can find. And then, because it's a feat of strength, get him? We're going to use shoes. So let's see how we get on. How do you think he's going to do? There's more shoes. How's he doing? Oh, oh, oh he's doing okay, I think. Oh, climbing boots. Climbing boots. Climbing boots. It's getting trickier. Oh, it's getting trickier more and more. Uh, my shoes. Oh, oh, oh. It dropped off. Goodness, is it getting stronger now? We can use different things, boys and girls. There we go. There we go. Right! Oh, is he going to manage it? Oh, it's getting stronger, it's getting stronger. Oh no! Is he going to be strong? Oh, that one's dropped off, but let's not worry about that. 
Here we go. Here's another one. Here's another one. So what do you think now, oh, Ian? Oh no, it's too much to bear. Oh no, it's gone. <laughs> oh, boys and girls, look at what happened. Right, over to you now at home and see if you can be oh. strong hmm. and a wee bit courageous like Ian. And remember the story of Joshua. Bye for now. Well, hello, boys and girls. Well, boys and girls, I think that the our special guest is here. I wonder who it is. Well, hello. How are hello. you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Maureen? I'm very well, thank you. Do you like the glasses? They're spectacular. Spectacular unicorn glasses so just got them special for this you this special guest so can you tell the boys and girls what's your name um, my name is ashley uh -huh. and where did you go to school and where were you brought up okay so i was born in aberdeen i was brought up in ellen and I went to school at Meikle Mill Primary School and then to the big school at Ellen Academy. And I moved away from Ellen for a couple of years up to the Murray Coast. Um, but I'm now back. Okay. So what did you do up at the Murray Coast? When I was there, I was teaching at Banff Academy. So you're a teacher? I am indeed. I teach you're music a... <gasps> to the big boys and girls clever cookie do you like it i do i love yeah? it yeah okay now then can you tell me what one of your happiest memories from your whole of your childhood could you tell the boys and girls mm. i i think i really enjoyed lots of holidays that we spent in st andrews we used to go to a caravan there mm -hmm. and there was a really nice restaurant that had all sorts of garden gnomes in the garden <laughs> outside the restaurant on the campsite yeah. and they did a really really good chocolate fudge cake <sighs> oh i like a chocolate fudge cake now i like it when it's warm and the oh, yeah. oozing yeah and with some ice cream as well oh lovely now then did you attend any church organisations when you were growing up? I did. I think I was probably taken to uh, the mum and toddler that was mm. run by the young women's group back in the day. And then I went to Beginners, which is now called Twinkle Stars. And then I mm -hmm. went up through the Sunday school and I remember lots of fun things at Sunday school um, where especially we did a drama production where I remember being dressed up as a squirrel. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I have no idea what it was about, I just remember the costume. Um, and I went to the chat room, mm. so lots of things but I also went to Girls Brigade as well. Now then, I know that you went to the Girls Brigade because Timmy, look at that. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh dear, that fringe. And the, <laughs> you've got a little red jumper. I do. So you started the Girls' Brigade when? When I was four years old. My goodness. Back in, what, 1999? <gasps> well, I think I started the Girls' Brigade in 1960 so it's 40 years of difference <laughs> <laughs> and quite luckily i have my little collection of badges here oh lovely I've got all my badges oh let's I've got see this 
Okay, and what what's all the badges then? What, what's some um, of them? So the top row was for explorers. So we got one at the end of every year from right. primary one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. And then the next row was for junior section. And you migrated from sewn on badges to fancy pin badges. Okay. And then in the brigader section, you got your triangles. And then you went on to get this fancy one called your brigader brooch at the ah, end of it. I see. And you've got your year's service at the top. It tells you oh, how really? long you've been there. Okay. Well, now, you've got another very special badge, though, haven't you? I do. Look at this, boys and girls. There it goes. Oh, wow. You've got it there. Right. So this you're a lieutenant. This big, heavy one. Yeah. This big, heavy one here. Okay. Which and is where called, do you wear that? You um, wear I, well, because I'm an officer now, I get to wear a fancy suit, and that goes onto my jacket. Ah, I see. Mm. Okay. Oh, so I maybe should salute you as well. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds a very exciting, exciting challenge you've had. And well done you for getting your Queen's Award. That is fab. Do you think Jesus has been part of your life for a long time? Or did you just recognise him recently? Or what, tell me the story. Well, my story goes right back to when I think I was about six days old. I believe uh, I was born on a Monday. Right. So take another six days and we're at Sunday. And I think okay. I would have been at church that day mm -hmm. okay. in the pram. I would have been, would have been taken and I would have been there. And I, I think you can probably count on my two hands how many times I haven't been there. Well, um, well done. Mm. We even used to... When we were on holiday, we used to search out the, the nearest church of Scotland and go and see what it yeah. was like there. So, uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah. And that's good. Some, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we used so, to do that as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the whole time he has been there. Um, but I do remember when I went up to the, the big school and some of the, the older boys and girls at Kirkfest might experience this soon, um, that all of a sudden there were lots and lots of people that maybe didn't go to church. Okay. When, when I'd been at primary school, there were lots of other kids and lots of kids in my class and my friends who did go to church. Mm -hmm. And then at the big school, there were heaps that didn't. So yeah. I spent a wee bit of time then finding out more about it and having a little bit of a question to wonder why Yes, maybe yes. other people didn't go. Mm. And it's okay to question, I think. Because yes, that's, definitely. yeah, yeah, and that's part of the journey. Now, because you're a music teacher, what's your favourite music? Uh, my two main instruments, we'll start there. So I play the piano and the violin. And when mm -hmm. I play the piano, I love playing Beethoven, anything okay. by Beethoven. Um, yep. When it comes to playing my violin, I love playing traditional Scottish music, which I think I got from my grandpa, who was a piper. Mm. And when it comes to listening to music, I think it depends on my mood. I can listen mm -hmm. to anything, really. Yes. And I think I have to listen to everything to keep up with what the boys and girls at school like. Absolutely. And you've got a wee niece as well, who'll and be coming she... through the ranks. Yes. Oh, yes. She's got her own little piano. <laughs> She's got three <laughs> notes on it. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. She got that from her grandma, so she's been practicing. <laughs> What's your favourite food? Well, the boys and girls maybe don't know this, but there's, um, I can't eat anything that has gluten in it. So imagine mm. cakes, pastries, bread, Ooh. all those nice things. I can't yeah. eat the ones that normal people do. I have to have special versions. Okay. Um, so I do lots of my own baking, and in lockdown. I have mm -hmm. discovered a recipe for donuts Ooh. and I haven't had a donut in five years since I found out that I couldn't eat gluten mm -hmm. and they are now my new favorite food. Yeah? Oh, fuck. They're amazing. What is your two favorite things about Kirkfest? Okay, my two favorite things about Kirkfest. Mm -hmm. So I think my favorite thing about Holiday Club is the games. I love running about okay. having lots of fun yeah lots of smiley laughing children mm -hmm. and getting to make a little bit of a fool of myself yes that's good fun yes and your second 
Um, my second favorite thing was last year for the first time we did a Kaylee, and that was my favorite favorite thing. Mm. And I Lots attended, yeah, I attended that Kaylee, and it was absolutely fab. Okay, so the final question: What is your three favorite things about God, and what stands out for you? Okay, my three favorite things we write God. Firstly, I think it's that God gave us music. My life would be pretty dull and boring without it. Mm. Um, so I'm very thankful for that every day. Um, my second thing would be I've been looking in lockdown a lot more at reading the Bible mm -hmm. than I maybe would have done before. I've been following the Bible in one year. Perhaps. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, which is very very interesting and um, so I have really enjoyed all the stories in there finding out a bit more um, and my third favorite thing about God has to be the community and the family that we have at mm -hmm. Ellen Parish Church and I think especially during lockdown our neighborhoods of care have done a super job of looking after us all Mm. and um, yes. I went for a walk with Amy last week so that was fab to yeah. get to see her. Okay Ashley we've come to the end of our special hot seat time. Oh I know it's been lovely. Oh boys and girls wasn't that lovely? Wasn't that fab? Thank you Ashley and we'll see you later. Thank you Maureen. Ta -ta. Bye. Well, girls and boys, wasn't that fab? Absolutely wonderful. A music teacher, Queen's Award. My goodness, she's been hard working, girl, hasn't she? Well, I need to go now. And I need to go and put my glasses away in the case for another sunny day. And put my hat away and things. So, questers. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning and I'll see you later, alligators. Bye-bye! Hi, Mega Questers. It's lovely to be with you this week. Um, it's Tina here. Hope you've had a fantastic week and a lovely day so far. I just wanted to introduce you to my friend Monkey. Monkey, Monkey, what's wrong? I'm scared. Monkey, what are you scared of? All of, all of them. All of, all of them. The mega questers. The mega questers. Why are you scared of the mega questers? What if they don't like me? Oh, Monkey, of course they'll like you. You're lovely. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Are, are you still scared? Yeah, a bit. A bit? Oh, Mega Questers, how are we going to make Monkey feel better? He's scared. Do you know what? I heard that you guys have just learned a fantastic memory verse that might be just the thing to help Monkey. I think you just learned, do you, Joshua 1 9, that says, Be strong and courageous. Because Lord your God is with you. It says, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, monkey. For God is with you wherever you go. Wherever I go? Wherever you go, monkey. All the time? All the time. Everywhere? Everywhere. Even when I'm sleeping? Even when you're sleeping? Even when I'm eating? Even when you're eating? Even when I'm pooping? Oh, oh. Shh, 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 shh. Boys and girls are watching. Oh, it gets a bit sorry. rude sometimes. Yeah, even when you're doing that that we're not going to talk about all the time all the time everywhere everywhere but do you know what yeah. i quite understand sometimes when i get scared and frightened i forget that god is always with me i forget his promise that he's always here and that i can be brave so i wonder if maybe together we could learn a really short prayer that would help us remember that god is with us so when we feel scared when we feel a bit rubbish, we can pray for God to help us remember that he's with us. And when God is with us, we can be brave and we can be strong and courageous. What do you think? Yeah, we well, should we give do it that. A go. Because I expect it's not just you and me that feel scared sometimes, monkey. 
I expect sometimes even the mega questers feel scared sometimes. Even the mega questers? Those are amazing mega questers. Is that right? Yeah, sometimes we feel scared. And when we feel scared, we forget sometimes, don't we, that God's with us and he's promised to be with us. So how about we think, next time we're scared, we're going to pray this prayer. And I'll, I'll show you, monkey, okay. and then you can tell it to the boys and girls, and then we can pray it together, okay? Okie dokie. Right. Dear God, help me to know that you will always be with me, so that I can be brave and strong. Amen. Amen. Do you think you could give that one a go? Mm, I could. We've got some actions to help you remember. Okay. Okay. So we start talking to God. We say, Dear God, Dear God, help me to remember that you are always with me. So, so I, I can, can be brave and strong. strong. Well done. Oh. Guys, will we pray that one together? Let's all pray it together and see if we can put it in our heads so the next time we're feeling scared, worried about something we can just pray that prayer really quickly and god will remind us that he's right with us and we have no reason to be scared okay so we're ready dear god dear god help us to mm. remember, remember that you are always mm. with us so that we can be brave mm. and strong. strong well done Okay, Mega Questers, it was lovely to see you. You say bye, monkey. Bye, monkey. Ah. <sighs>another brilliant day so far eh? yeah great songs Ooh. again good singing I, I think we could just about hear you singing from from way over the other side of Ellen. oh definitely did Harvest you think did you think ian was gonna be able to Whoa. hold up it was funny when he just strength. fell over <laughs> and when they saw the satsumas in his arms yeah what was that <laughs> funny funny brilliant so um what do we need to remember what's going to be on today what is on today? Thursday, we have got Bedtime, bedtime stories. stories at half past six. And then at quarter past seven, we've got Soul Soundtrack, uh, where we're going to be speaking to Tina. Uh, Tina, and Tina is Rory's uh, Rory's mum. Mm -hmm. uh, Tina. Ooh, Tina did the crafts a couple of years ago. She's been the last couple of mega quests, her and Rory. So that would be a good story for those of you who, who are up. And um, we'll see you after the songs.
So where are the bag? Are you missed them again? He's always oh. missing stuff, I tell you. So tomorrow, tomorrow's day five. <gasps> Last we'll log day. off, get up, mount my Fujimarama. Who, Who can knows? Tell? Who can tell? Who can tell? Who, will, will he be strong and courageous? Mm. For the Lord is with him. Uh, hopefully. hopefully. Great. Have a great rest of your day. Know that God goes with you wherever you go. And we'll see you for Friday Yay! tomorrow. Bye. See ya. Bye.